Okay, let us all stand for our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So for your attendance, kindly raise your hands if your name is called Ashley. Okay. Faith. Okay, very good. You have a perfect attendance. And also, I am happy to see that you maintain the cleanliness in this classroom, so keep it up. Before we proceed with our next topic, let's have a review first. What have you learned yesterday, Jerry? Very good. So who can give me an example of a real numbers that is in increasing order? Mimi. Very good. How about in decreasing order? Okay, Milan. Very good. So let's have a game. I have here sets of small and big numbers that you need to multiply. Very simple, right? But this game have a twist. You only have 30 seconds to answer. And if you hear the bell, you will raise your answer and give it to me. Whoever gets the correct answer, I will give blue chips, which represents five points. So is it clear? Item number one. Timer starts now. Okay, time. Okay, only to get the correct answer. Very good, AC and John. Item number two. Timer starts now. Time's up. Give me your answers. So what have you observed with the numbers? Yes, but did you know that we can shorten these large and small numbers? Do you want to know the technique? So the technique is called scientific notation. It is a special way of writing two big and two small numbers that are difficult to express. Also, it is in the form of A times N to the power of N, where A is greater than or equal to 1, but is less than 10. And 10 is the constant number, and N is the exponent. So supposedly, your A should be ranging from 1 to 9. Get it? Okay. In writing large numbers to scientific notation, we will follow these steps. First step is put the decimal point after the first number and drop the zero. So like this, we will put the decimal point after the first number. So here, and then we will drop the zero. So from here to here, the remaining will be 9.8 for the step 1 and for the step 2 count the number of decimal places you move and write it as a power of 10 so from here we will count the decimal to the right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the decimal is 8 write it as a power of 10 so, copy times 10 to the power of 8. So, what uh, sign should we use on the exponent? Is it positive or negative? Mimi? Very good. We will use positive exponent because we are using large numbers. So, is it clear? Another example is 8,300. So, from, for the first step, put the decimal point after the first number, so here, and drop the zeros. Reminder, we will only drop the zeros that are after the non-zero digit. So, we will only drop these two. We won't include these two because they are before the non-zero digit. So, you copy that. And the remaining on the first step is 
8003. And on the second step, count the number of decimal places you move. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then write it as a power of 10. So, times 10 to the power of 5 because we move it 5 at 5 decimal point. Now, let's proceed to small numbers. First step is put the decimal point after the first non-zero digit. So, the first non-zero digit here is the 7. So, the decimal will be here and drop the zeros. So, let's drop this. The remaining will be 7 point nine in the second step count the number of decimal places you move so from here we will move the decimal point to the left one two three four five we will stop here because the decimal is here so uh, write it as a power of 10 with a negative exponent so we have five so times 10 to the power of negative 5. We will use negative exponents since we are using small numbers. So I hope you understand this part. Now let's go to converting scientific notation to standard form. Uh, our first example is this. Since uh, the exponent is positive, so we will follow this note. Uh, if it's positive exponent, then it is a large number. And if it is a large number, we will move the decimal to the right. So how many uh, times will we move? So since this is 8, so we move the decimal at 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After that is, we will append 0. So we will put zeros one two three four five six so the final answer will be uh this uh eight eight one two three four five six so the final answer is 888 million so do you get it class other example is 5.9 times 10 to the power of negative 5 so, since the exponent is negative 5, we will follow this. Uh, we will just only move the decimal to the left at 5 times because it says negative 5 here. So, from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, we will append 0. So, put zeros here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then... The decimal. So the final answer would be um, 2, 3, 4, copy, 5, 9. The standard form of 5.9 times 10 to the power of negative 5 is 0 0.000059. So do you get it, class? Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Now let me ask you a question Who uses the scientific notation? Yes, it is the scientists and the astronomers. Then why do we use scientific notation? Very well said, Miss Chonko. Why do we use exponents? Very good, Jennifer. Okay, so I will group you into four and answer this by group. Group one will stay there. Group two, group three, and group four. And answer this. You only have three minutes to answer. Okay? So are you done? Okay, pass your papers by group. Any questions or clarifications? Okay, none. So get one whole sheet of paper and answer this activity individually. You only have five minutes to answer. And no coaching, please. Oops.
Ops, Jungkook. Silence, please. Okay, pass your papers. So for your assignment, uh, give at least two small and large numbers and convert it to scientific notation. So everything's clear? That's all for today. Thank you and see you tomorrow.